To me, dance is a means of expressing the inner quest for self-realization. Saroja Vedhanathan Journey towards inner quest. Saroja Vaidyanathan, the name that spells magic, the name that has become synonymous with Bharatanatyam. Kalai Mamani Saroja Vaidyanathan, Padma Shri Awardee, is an institute in herself. Her journey with Bharatanatyam began nearly seven decades earlier. From the college days, from the school days, all those uh, periods, I was very interested in sports and plus my performing arts also. Dance bhi mujhe bahut pasand aaya, gana bhi. But at the same time, mai nahi socha ki dance bahut, mene mujhe bahut pasand hai, mai gaya tha, learn kiya tha. Jab sports ka मुझे उम्मीद नहीं था इसलिए मैंने डांस एंड म्यूजिक ऑप्ट किया म्यूजिक तो बहुत एंकरेजमेंट मिल गया मेरे घर से डांस के लिए नहीं मिला तभी भी मेरे जीती करके मैं डांस Saroja Vaidyanathan's penchant for dance and music goes back to her childhood. And it wasn't very long before the soft breeze of dance and music completely enveloped her. She became the disciple of Guru Lalita of Saraswati Gaan and Nilayam, third generation disciple of esteemed Guru Tanjavur K. Muthukumar and Pillai. Carnatic music she learned from Professor P. Sambamurthy of Chennai University. With dreams in her eyes, young Saroja Vaidyanathan started visiting her guru's place alone, admiring the stage, puja room, inhaling the fragrance that instilled in her confidence to dream. Her parents supported her initially, but seeing their daughter being consumed by her passion, they became worried, particularly her father. From the age of 12, 10, my ambition was like a flame. It was going on in my thoughts. Even my father was studying, what are you doing? He was, the Royal, he was in the Royal Air Force Second World War. He said, what are you doing? Study, I will send you to Oxford. In those times, Oxford was the maximum education center. So I will send you. But I said, Papa, I'm not interested in anything. 
I am interested in music and dance. Music and dance, are you going to ruin your life? He said, I didn't answer because I could not answer at that time. But after when I got Padma Shri, Kalei Mamani, all these titles and everything, my father was crying one day and he gave me very beautiful um, blessings and letter that I am the proudest father and I never realized that a man can even get the salvation because he is Ganesha Bhakta. He always thinks spiritual, only spiritual will get to call salvation. He said music and dance also will lead you to salvation. That, that was the, his comment. The obstacles at her parents' place were nothing when compared to the dilemmas young Saroja Vaidyanathan had to face once she got married. And she got married at a very young age, barely 16, when she stepped into her new home. He was my everything. You know, at the age of 16, you know, somebody touches and kisses you. Was my husband was everything to me, everything. When, even if uh, uh, he, he always thinks me I am a child because I adore me, I go behind him like this and I play. Even now I play with my, uh, even my students. I play housey, I play western dance, I do all those things whenever there is no class. In the class they terror, they don't even talk to me. So like that, so he always thought that I am a kid to be taught. I am not an immature person. So always, Saruja, please don't go alone. Saruja, don't do that. Saruja, you know, what are you going to wear? He was so protective, so protective to me. Child inside her, young Saroja Vaidyanathan did not shy away from getting her life into gear. Marrying an IS officer and with other members of her in-laws family, also being in class one service, Saroja Vaidyanathan had to maintain balance in her professional and personal life. Like an experienced trapeze artist, she walked on the thin rope of home and family expectations and her own aspirations and dreams with patience and understanding. <laughs> I had lots of ups and downs, not in the early life. Early life, I, want, I just learned and I got everything, whatever I wanted. But being a high official's wife in Bihar, it's not that easy. And um, we had to be in the Bihar. The only spirit was my support, was my mother-in-law, who was also a singer. He was supporting me. She was. And I started teaching uh, small girls in the premises itself. Whenever I used to get depressed because I could not do, I can't do whatever I wanted. So then I used to sit in front of God. Even now, I never retaliate or I never get angry or shout or get perturbed or jealous about anybody. The reason is I always think that the Supreme the God is there for all of us. 
He knows our plus and minus points. You can dodge a, another human being. You can dodge several human beings. But you can't dodge a lie in front of the Supreme. Time passed. With each year, young and innocent Saroja Vaidyanathan matured into a better person and artist. She kept the flame of her dream burning. Yet, never forgetting the duties of a wife and mother. Today, Saroja Vaidyanathan is many personalities rolled into one. Dancer, choreographer, author, administrator, guru, to being a homemaker, mother, mother-in-law and grandmother. As a grandmother, so she is one of the favorite members of the family for me. Because when I was born, she was with me. She gave me so much love. And she was always with me. And I always thought that if I was two years old, when she was with me, she was also with me. She was like my friend. When I was five years old, she was with me. And now she was with me. She was always with me. All through my life, I have found that she has always been with me. She has always been with me. In every moment of my uh, happiness and my crisis, and uh, I'm a born atheist. I don't believe in God, but she's a very pious person. So, jabhi mujhe koi aisi musibat aati hai jo meri technical mind se I'm not able to decipher, I look at her, and I use her as an instrument to reach out to God for a solution. She, with her uh, morning prayers and shlokas, she starts the day beautifully. Younger daughter-in-law Rama Vaidyanathan, herself a celebrated Bharatanatyam dancer, feels same. When I came to this family, I was 18 years old at that time. And she just immediately, you know, just engulfed me into her family. And she gave me so much of love and she made me feel so comfortable immediately. Because at the age of 18, you know, uh, for a girl to leave her parents, her brothers and sisters and come to another family, uh, you know, I just, even for a second, I did not feel uncomfortable or I did not even miss my family. In fact, my family got upset because I wouldn't even call them. <laughs> because I was, you know, so involved in, uh, in this new family because I was getting so much of love and affection here. Today's Kalai Imamani Guru Saroja Vaidyanathan was born in 1937 in Bellary, Karnataka to an Air Force officer and an artist mother. From the tender age of five, she made up her mind to become a dancer and along with her sister Vasanta, started learning Bharatanatyam from Guru Lalita. With dance, education continued. Saroja completed her schooling from Lady Willington School and joined Stella Maris College, Chennai. It was dance that had completely exhumed her. Excelling in every aspect of dance, 
Saroja completed her Arangetram at the young age of 12. And after this followed a trail of performances in Chennai, Trichy, Madurai, Coimbatore and other places. This was the beginning of a new path to her aspirations. But once she got married to an IS officer, C.R. Vaidyanathan, there occurred a little block in her dream park. With her husband posted in Bihar, Saroja had to restrain herself to being mother and wife. But the artist in her could not be dormant for long. The inner craving to perform found its way out in the form of teaching dance to little children. And being a perfectionist, she became an excellent guru. It was just a matter of time before invitations for performances started pouring in. Rotary Club, Lions Club and performances at various other charitable functions were hugely appreciated. And then came the first overseas performance, 1969. London. transferred to Delhi, the cultural hub. And it was in Delhi that her horizon widened. Opportunities knocked at her door. Invitations for dance recitals trickled one after the other. During this time, seeds of a dream to open an entire institution dedicated to learning and propagation of Bharatnatyam were also so. But Saroja, not believing in dreams merely, went out to turn her dreams into reality. Luck favoured. She procured the land sold by Delhi Development Authority at that time for charitable institutions. 
and thus was born Ganesh Natyale. My constant wish, constant thought that I should receive it, I should get it, I should possess it, that hard work really brought me by step by step. It's not that I got it everything in one day. It took me about 30 years to put my foot, first foot, and now my Natalia is 32 years. Amidst her hectic professional life, Saroja never forgot the duties of a mother. She has been a source of strength to her sons, both IIT graduates. The elder one, C. V. Ramachandran, is today settled in America and heads management consultancy company in New York. His wife Connie is a dietitian. Perhaps thanks to her that nobody in family is overweight today. Saroja Vaidyanathan's grandson, Kyle Ramachandran, has done his graduation in finance. My sports quality is taken by my grandson. Kyle is a rugby champion. My husband is very highly qualified, intellectual and very strong man. These qualities, they are taken by my sons and their children. But I'm so sure my fine art is taken by my granddaughters. The younger son C. V. Kamesh heads an MNC in New Delhi and his wife Rama Vaidyanathan is a Bharatnatyam dancer. Their two daughters Dakshina and Sanidhi Vaidyanathan are budding dancers. Saroja shares a special bond with all her children and grandchildren, more so with her daughters-in-law. We were dancing on stage and, uh, you know, Krishna was uh, teasing Radha and Radha was getting angry at Krishna and, you know, all those scenes we were depicting. And then those people asked us that, you know, you uh, people mm, fight on stage. I said, that's, that's only where we fight. We don't fight anywhere else. <laughs> Sometimes you also become like sisters and do naughty things that don't tell our husbands. She doesn't tell her husband and I don't tell my husband. <laughs> <laughs> so you know we uh, we have a little uh, you know we do little secret things okay okay nahi batana nahi batana ha theek hai theek hai nahi batayenge you know so that is the relationship i share with her person, Padmashri Saroja Vaidyanathan begins her day with a cup of coffee, yoga, meditation and prayers, and then a helping hand in kitchen. After my yoga, after my pranayam, after my exercise, after my beautiful cup of coffee, I am so energetic for half an hour, one hour for cooking. So I come here, even if I don't have anything cooking, I clean up the little bit, Kalista is kusaf karo, is kusaf karo, then I go. I have to enter the kitchen and I have to do something. Both my, whole my family, wait for my doshas. Everybody prepares so beautifully, but my doshas, mommy, you make the doshas with love. That is why it's so tasty. 
शिवे सर्वात सातिके शरण्ये त्यंबके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तुते Every morning with her uh, prayers that she spends about half an hour to one hour saying the shlokas is a lovely experience for me ek tarah se ek din chalu ho jata hai mere liye aur main sanskrit mein to bilkul zero hu fir bhi mujhe aisa lagta hai ki main bahut kuch janta hu and uh, some of the important things that i must tell you is that uh, jaane se pehle office jaane se pehle zarur ek baar mummy mujhe hug karti hai unko ek feeling hai ki this hug will carry me through success in the day मुझे ऐसा कोई दिन दिखा नहीं है जहां पर मेरे को कोई प्रॉब्लम्स हो रहा है सही सलामत सच सब काम करके मैं वापस आता हूं अभी तुम क्लास जा सकते हो पूजा हो गया है ना गॉड विल ब्लेस यू ओके बेटा बेस्ट ऑफ लक थैंक यू इन अ कट थ्रोट कंपटीशन where artists stand on slippery ground where colleagues at times turn worst foes saroja vaidyanathan often turns to deep meditation and prayers for inner peace and tranquility my profession is very very tough and very short lived profession so jealous is there backbiting pushing so many things whenever i get depressed about any matter i come here this is my answering i should say nowadays answering machine like that i he doesn't talk to me but i talk to him i sit i cry i talk i shout i argue i fight with him he never answers he just smiles he says saroja ho gaya all things relieved from you take care go back and do your duty the answer will come later and the answer comes little later or sooner but answer comes invite the nathan family where each member is living back to back life proper schedule of every body is hung on the wall uh, so this is uh, the schedule that our family follows uh, isme basically kya hai ki hamari family mein meri mother meri wife meri do daughters aur main all follow their own hectic professional lives yet work and help each other in others projects niya de rama niya dakshina on pe i have my class at 8:30 only Now it's 7:30. Ready, Patron of many NGO organizations, board member in many cultural, educational, and government organizations, for Saroja of Dance is a means expressing the inner quest for self-realization. She has used dance as a medium to come closer to the supreme truth. Through her dance, she has addressed several social issues: women empowerment, handicapped children, cancer, drug abuse, and 
AIDS. Amidst her so many responsibilities, Padma Shri Saroja Vaidyanathan never forgot her dream of making people, young and old, aware of rich cultural heritage. My Natyalaya me, sabko sikare hu ek ek item at least they should know. Is bar annual day me pura unka gana, pura subramaniya based on women, patriotism, child, youth. Weather, Akash, and so many subjects. He has come, even the slavery of women. All these things I am bringing in one stage. With the expression. From 1974 till 2007, 33 years, and in these years, around 150 Arangetrams have been done. Students from all over the world join her institute. Guruji has not only uh, been a guru in dance, she has also taught me several values in life, whether it is uh, related to my education, my family or myself as a person. Swaranjali, this uh, item, about eight people are there and uh, she has been also a great support in my life as a foreigner here and always supporting if I am having some problem in daily life so I can always come to her for advice. And she has taught me a lot of culture so she has brought up my perspectives very wide, respecting different cultures and learning a lot. गुरु होती हैं तो दादी का प्यार पता नहीं कहाँ गायब हो जाता है। जब से मैं पैदा हुई हूँ मैंने तो ये गाना और ये डांस ऐसे ही अंदर लिया है। तो उन्होंने वो बहुत ही स्ट्रिक्ट किस्म की गुरु हैं। ये तो मुझे कहना पड़ेगा। कोई एक छोटी सी गलती कर दी डांस में तो पूरा शुरू से करवाती हैं। We have grown to know how it is to work in a team, how it is to work with each other. There is a lot of understanding, lot of adjustment. And we have so much yeah. fun, even Guruji is exactly. so fun loving. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's so young at heart. If someone looks at her, nobody would say she's just a Guruji. I have inherited few qualities, the best qualities from my Guru. She's a very strict teacher, but at the same time, she's a very lovable person. She's a very good choreographer. I never used to talk in my anger days. She always, after I became a teacher, a guru, everything, she used to tell me, Saroja, I never thought that you're so wonderful person, wonderful, so intelligent. I thought always you are a pious, quiet girl sitting in a corner. But I said, Guruji, I was observing everything what you did because I was admiring you. So the same, I have inherited those qualities from her. She had a very small institution. And I think even that ambition to be like her has come true. In 1984, Saroja Vaidyanathan turned author with The Science of Bharatanatyam. Then followed Karnatak Sangeetam, Bharatanatyam, an in-depth study, Encyclopedia of Bharatanatyam, 
the classical dances of India and many more. An ardent admirer of the great poet Mahakavi Subramanyam Bharati, Saroja Vaidyanathan has sung his poems too, which have been published in the form of a two-volume audio cassette set. Besides breathing life into the poet's work on stage through her Bharatanatyam. Chuttu vidi chudar taan gannabba Suriya chandiraro Vatta kariya vidi kannabba Vadat karumai kondo Pattu karu nila poodavai Padita nalvairo I am very good in music, but somebody has to be with me. That Mohan Vaidya, a Mirdangist, very famous Mirdangist son, Mohan Vaidya, is a wonderful person and he has composed all my uh, ballets, choreographed, composed my music. It was wonderful. Wonderful to be with him. And as she walked towards her destination, to be an accomplished dancer, several accolades and awards greeted her on the way. Sahitya Kala Parishad, Kala Imamani and Padma Shri in 2002 to name a few. Like the fierce sea, like the unfearing sea, like the proud sea, Guru Saroja Vaidyanathan, Padmashri awardee, is today an institute in herself.